now that asthma is not the same in everyone, that there are different, what we call phenotypes in asthma. So the underlying drivers of asthma are different from person to person. Due to racial inequities um, in our country, there are some children that are maybe more exposed to things like pollution or other environmental triggers in their home. There are financial inequities that lead to lack of access to adequate treatment. African American and black children, as well as Hispanic children, have increased asthma prevalence rates, they have increased morbidity and mortality compared to white children. If we are really able to understand why is it that black children are getting asthma at higher rates and dying and are not responding to treatments as well. What are the true drivers of that? That's when we can make an impact. That's when we can see these health disparity gaps start to close. Our work that we've done with Operation Breakthrough has really been important. One of the unique things that we identified was that racism impact asthma outcomes in these young children. Studying populations like the Operation Breakthrough population who may not always have opportunities to be included in research are really important because I think that's when we're really going to identify some of the unique aspects that drive disease for these children that are really highly impacted. You know, our mission is to create a world of well-being for all children. And so I think as an institution, that definitely is our duty to understand not just what happens when the child comes into our environment to make sure that they're getting equitable care, but also what are all the factors outside before they come here. As a pediatric researcher, that's my goal, is to really impact large groups of kids and understand all of the drivers that are causing disease in these large groups of kids that we see significant health care disparities in. I think the CMRI is really essential in getting Children's Mercy to become a national leader in pediatric research because it provides that optimal environment. I think about what children think when they drive by and see this big beautiful building and I'm really excited that we're going to have some opportunities to bring community children into the CMRI to see the research that's done, to actually maybe participate in some of the research. So I think it plays a significant role in the present for research at Children's Mercy and for our community, but also really importantly for the future.